how have engine platforms changed in the last 20 years? Well, in the past, there were more engine manufacturers. And over the last 20, 25 years, things have consolidated uh, quite a bit. So there's really only three or four engine manufacturers now. And um, as those engine platforms or manufacturers rather have consolidated, it doesn't necessarily mean that engines have gotten easier to work on. In fact, because of technology changes, because of emissions control, and um, things like that, the the engines themselves have become much more complex over the mechanical days. So when I sold parts, you could grab a wrench, you could make a quick repair. Uh, I saw guys do things like listen to the engine with a wrench and be able to hear which cylinder wasn't firing properly or where there was something broken in the engine. You know, th- those days of the, the mechanical and uh, kind of having that 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 knowledge has been replaced by people who need to be very proficient with diagnostic tools and who are able to work on these uh, engines and troubleshoot engines, not just the engines themselves, but all the upstream and downstream issues. So things have gotten more complex. There's less manufacturers. And that's really how things have changed over the last 20, 25 years. Yeah. I mean, we're hearing that to make any engine repair, it's like you need a clean room or like an operating room or something. Because these repairs are so complex, there are tight tolerances. I mean, fuel injectors, the nozzles are what, like three microns across. And each time that you need to get an engine repair, I mean, on a heavy duty truck, this bill can run you $50,000, $80,000. I mean, it's wild. Yeah, it's dependent on if you're doing an in-frame or if you're doing a complete engine replacement. And, and I know that even back in, let's say, 2015, 2016, 2017, there were a lot of people who rebuilt engines who were dropping out. You know, rebuilders were consolidating as well, and there was just less of them because things were getting more complex. And then to your point, the engine repair is such a huge dollar amount. If something goes wrong and there's a warranty, the liability for the rebuilder is very, very high. So this has been a huge opportunity, though, for those that continue to specialize in rebuilding engines. And as uh, some of these rebuilders have dropped out, there's more market share available to them. 